Hi, my name is David. Today we're going to do number 551, student attendance record one on LeetCode. This is an easy level problem and we're going to solve it in JavaScript. So this one was kind of like a fun one, a simple if else statement while we're looping through. So we have a function that takes an S. S is a string, right? Yeah, it's a string that only takes an A, L, P. A signifying the student was absent, L signifying the student was late, and P representing the student was present. And they have an attendance word if they meet these criteria. And so basically we have to return true or false. True if they, they meet these, both of these criteria is false if they didn't. So if they were absent, if the student was absent for fewer than two days, and then the student was never late more than three consecutive days. So that is how we're gonna solve this problem. So for this example, we return true because the student has fewer than two absences. We look at the A's, they only been absent once and they were never late more than three times. So they're only late twice consecutively. So how we're gonna solve this problem is that first we have to look at, we're gonna loop through this and we're gonna return false if if they doesn't meet one of these criteria, and if they if we can loop through this without returning false, we return true. So the first criteria they look at is the absent. So we have to create a, a absent variable, and that's just going to be a number that we're going to keep count of how many times they were absent in total. And next, we want to create a late variable, but consecutive. So I'm gonna say late consec late variable. Okay, so these are two layer variables where you're gonna to use to keep track of everything. And now we're gonna loop through S. And inside of this loop, we have to create a condition if the student was, if there was an A condition if value is A. And what we wanna do, if this happens is increment A, increment the absent. And then we wanna create a condition if absent is two or greater and then we just return false if this happens. And now we look at the other variable, which never late three or more consecutive days. So we have to create a condition if it's a L. And then we wanna increment consec late. And then once we got that, we have to create um, an else statement because we need a consecutive to reset the variable. Else set consec late to zero. And then lastly, we, we return false if it's three or more. So condition if consec late is three or more. And then we just return false. And if we make it through this without returning false, we be return true. Great. So first we create the variables that absent equals zero, that consec late equals zero. Now we loop through S for that i equals zero, i is less than s dot length, i plus plus. And then of this loop, loop, we have to do each case. If current index value s index i is equals to a, we increment absent. And then we create the condition to return false if it's two or greater if absent 
is greater than or equal to two, return false. So that deals with this one. And now we have to do the other condition. If, if it's a late current index value, equals L, we do consec late plus plus, else we set this equal to zero. And now we return false if consec late equals uh, is greater than or equal to three, return false. And we, if you make it through this without returning false, we, re, we return true. Great. Great, we got it. So the complexity, the time complexity, we know that we're doing a loop through S, so it's going to be O of n. And then the space complexity, we are taking the constant variables here, so it's going to be O of 1. And that's it. That's how you solve this problem. Thank you.